We are rolling right along with a special edition of A King on Location. We're at the Hobby Holiday Inn in Houston, Texas. We're joined now by Brittany Yates of uh, Dallas, Texas. Brittany, first of all, welcome to Houston. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Thank you. <laughs> Coming down to help celebrate uh, Pat Butler's birthday party at the Hole in the Wall, Joyce's yeah. Club in Houston. Uh, I know it has to be fun knowing you're going to see someone that you've done some work with and got done some tracks with, the legendary Ernie Johnson. Oh, yes. You know, Ernie is one of my faves. He's, mm -hmm. he's definitely a legend in the game, so I'm happy to be here. <laughs> Talk a little bit about R&B and where is it going in your opinion now? The radio stations really don't give it justice and some of the younger people who are singing R&B and can truly sing mm -hmm. some kind of way not getting exposure like I think they should. So what do you think the future is? Well, you know, definitely I can vouch for that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, because I'm one of those young people who still believe in soul music, uh, the Ernie Johnson days and the mm -hmm. Otis Redding days and all those great. And um, as it proceeds, it's getting more pop, mm -hmm. you know, it's losing the natural flavor. Everything is computerized. You don't get the live guitar, mm -hmm. you know, the live feeling of that, oh, you, yeah. know, you know, you yeah. mm -hmm. know, you're losing that. And mm -hmm. so we need it. And so definitely we have to have people coming out to the shows and, um, you know, supporting it because that's the only way the masses respect it and, and keep it alive and keep it at its core, you know, so. And I think the internet is going to play a big role in this oh, because yeah. now you're able to put your music on the net and people will be able to simply Google your name and there your stuff is. Exactly. And that and but it has, you know, everything has its pros and its cons, and that's definitely one of the pros and cons. But yeah, the internet is fabulous. <laughs> well, you know, speaking of the internet, uh, when we did the Fiesta tribute to the late Tyrone Davis, yes. Ernie actually yes. put that up. Uh, we we had it up on the net and people have been viewing it ever yeah. since. But we sent it to the Dallas Cowboys and believe it or not, they were playing it at Cowboys at <laughs> Cowboys Stadium. I'm that right. had to be pretty good. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> How can you not play Ernie Johnson? <laughs> How can you not play Ernie? <laughs> now talk a little bit about some things you work with Ernie on his new gospel CD and did yes. some background and stuff. And then what yes. kind, what was that like? That was an awesome experience. Um, you know, I grew up with uh, the soul music of quartet and blues and different things like that. So doing that project and being in the studio and again getting that full essence that's so live, you know, mm -hmm. feeling the spirit in, in the studio, you know, we had church. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it was like church. So mm -hmm. it was it was awesome. He's very talented. Well I must admit that during the years of my career I spent a lot of time covering athletes and sports and some of the older guys in sports. This is a change of pace for me. I must admit, I'm kind of excited interviewing lovely young women for a change. After dealing with some of these old dudes all the time. Wow. <laughs> and, and, to, and, and to also see that you're so into what you're doing and feel so passionate about your music. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I believe in hard work. You know, I've been raised by the great Ernie Johnson. I've sang background for male waiters. And so I've learned you have to put in the work. If you don't mm -hmm. put in the work, it's not going to come out. So um, I definitely have had my chops right. <laughs> sharpened pretty well. Right. Well, that's a good thing. Well, we certainly want to thank you for taking time from your schedule to come to Houston to be with us to help Pat celebrate her birthday. Uh, anytime. You, Ernie, Pat, all you got to do is call me. I'm coming. <laughs> all right. We'll have more of the special edition of Pat Butler's birthday when we continue with a special edition of A King on Location in just a moment. 